Hello Virgo, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Virgo placement for March. How to have the best March ever. Virgo, what is going on my loves? We are not taking all of that. No, we are not. That one wants to come out though. Okay. So we will start with that card. If he, oh, oh yes, okay. Um, if you enjoy this video, if you get anything out of it, please do hit that like button. It is greatly appreciated and join us during our lives. I do all 12 signs and free readings. Oh my God. Okay, Virgo, let's just say that for this month, you are going to be so flipping busy, okay? Working hard, playing hard. If you are single, getting yourself out there and meeting and mingling, um, whether or not you're single, meeting new people, lots of new people, now is the time. Now is the time, love. Okay, and the more you do this, the happier you're going to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else do we have for Virgo, please? What else? How can Virgo have the best March ever? How can Virgo have the best March ever? All right. <laughs> I'll show you in one second. Give me just a second. Hold on. I'll show you the cards. This is this is phenomenal. This is awesome. Okay, and what is the reason for this? Okay. All right, Virgo. So we're going to start off over here. Your first card out is Aurora Boris, Infinity, ex Eternal, and Past Life. I think that you have come to a point where you have overcome many things and you are ready for a new journey, my love. Alpha Centaurians, foresight, planning, and strategy. You feel something big coming. You do. You feel something big is coming. And that, there's a big Pisces energy off of that. And then we have gratitude with mirror. You're seeing your progress. You're not allowing where you're at to limit your beliefs in your future. You are seeing your growth and your expansion and your promise of a beautiful tomorrow in everything. You are seeing everything around you with this just awesome gratitude for everything that you've been through and everything that you have now. Summon. You are the magician this month. Number 13. Along with dun -dun -dun -dun, lust. Baby, let your freak flag fly, okay? Don't be afraid. Summon anything and everything you are passionate about. The reason, let your passion guide you this month. Let your passions spur you on, okay? Passion for work, passion for family, passion for love, passion for love making. Let your passions fly this month, okay? The reason why this reading is all happening is because of phobias and finances. All right, this tells me something huge. Yes, you may be working on your finances. You may have a fear about your finances, but you cannot stop living and burying yourself in your work, okay? That's going to be very important. Do not bury your head in the sand this month. Get out there and live your life. Your planning and your foresight and your strategy with your work life does allow you time to get out there and live life. Okay, go get in nature, take walks, take hikes. If you are someplace warm, make sure that you're getting out there in the sun. And my tea kettle is about, yeah, my tea kettle is whistling. Hold on. Okay, my light went off, so we're going to do this in the dark. Ooh, doing this in the dark. What are we doing in the dark, Virgo? 
And I almost called you Scorpio. All right, so here we go. Your foresight and your planning and your strategy does allow you time to go after your passions. Do not worry about your finances because you know that you are taking care of that. You may not be where you want to be, but do not allow that. Do, do not allow yourself to use that as an excuse to not go out and live life. All right? Because this month, you have a choice. And it's telling me that you need to enjoy life as a whole and not just bury in work. First card out, Hierophant. Two of Pentacles. Leo just had that in the same spot. The Fool card. Page of Cups. Yes. It is ordained for you this month to go out and enjoy and stop looking at everything like it's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to do that. It's not worth it. Trying to make your everyone think that your life is peachy. See those two pentacles? He's got a choice to make. He can either wait for the ship that's never coming. Because that ship is being struck by lightning. That ship is never coming for him. Or he can go off on the land because the land is right behind him. It's his choice. Is he going to wait for something that's never going to happen? Or is he going to continue on his journey? I'll tell you right now. You're going to continue on your journey. You're taking that leap of faith. And what is that leap of faith? Page of Cups, a new emotional beginning, something that you want. I think that there is a project or a hobby or something that you're going starting this month that you want to dedicate yourself to. And that will get you out of this, oh, everything is fine, so that you can get back out into life and start living with with with. Oh, what's the word? Uh, uh, a hunger, Virgo. I feel as though you've lost your hunger for life. And it's time that it comes back. Two of Cups. This is something that is definitely going to get your heart racing. Seven of Wands. I love the Seven of Wands. Because he's looking at them like, yo, come at me. Come on. Let's go, man. Let's go. What do you got? You ain't got nothing. Right? You know you can do this. You might very well have people telling you that you can't and that you're not good enough, but do not believe them. Do not miss the opportunities that are being brought to you. Opportunities will be brought to you this month, and this is opportunities in everything. I need you to network your butt off this month, Virgo. Ace of Wands, yes. Go out there with passion, with hunger. King of Wands, you want to talk about one hungry individual, okay? Hold on. This guy, let's focus, let's focus. I want you to see his face. Focus. He's hungry. Look at him. He's not afraid. He's not afraid to go take life by the horns. He's not afraid with this Ace of Wands, Virgo, go after everything you want. With strategy and planning, you can absolutely have it all this month. Because you're tired of this. You're tired of missing out. You're tired of things not working out. You're tired of being alone even when you're with others. There's no need for that anymore. Empress, you are taking the forefront of taking care of yourself. You're, you are the forerunner in your life, especially if you're single. You're going to treat yourself as though you are a very important person taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, taking care of your soul, your spiritual development, your education, everything. You are looking forward. Freaking fabulous. King of Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Empress. Come on. You are looking, you you've all attention is on you this month, Virgo. And on the bottom, we have the Knight of Cups moving forward in a new passionate endeavor. Let the lust 
for life come back. Virgo, how to have the best March ever? Let the lust of life come back. And remember what it's like to be grateful in everything that you see, to see the miracle in everything that you see. Do not bury yourself in this. Fears about money. Do not let yourself get buried in that. Foresight, planning, and strategy, infinity, eternal, and past life. You're ready for the next step. You are ready for the next step, Virgo. All right, let's get an advice card for you. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. It's like you're bothering me. <laughs> yeah. All right, can we get an advice card for Virgo for this spread, please? Can we get an advice card for Virgo for this spread? Advice card. Yes, Virgo, it's time to go out there and reignite your passions in everything okay oh if i didn't say it please hit that like button and join us on sundays and wednesdays for the lives free questions and all 12 signs all right here we go union major arcana number 13 union it's a beautiful card, huh? I can get it straight. There we go. Wholeness, marriage, unity, connection, integration, harmony, alignment, and peace. Unity and wholeness. Harmony arises when we are in alignment. You have unlimited potential. A path that marries science and spirituality. Duality creates separation. The marriage of body, mind, and soul. All is connected. Complete self-acceptance. Do not dominate or be submissive. At the center is the void. You are a temple. Worship within. Fear and need are cornerstones of codependency. You have everything that you need, love. You have everything that you need. Go get it. Go get it. Go get your life. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you for now. You know I love you. I hope to see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.